Hello guys, Zilox here. Today I want to represent some ideas that I got here, which this video won't be the highest quality video, but I want to show you some ideas that I've created in the past that would be cool in the game while I'll wait for people to join the server. So yeah, let me get straight to the point. Let's go to the first one. So you know my undercover cop car idea has the lights here, including here and here, which when you turn them off, it disappears, which obviously is because in real life you can take it off the car and click it on top of the car. But it would be cool like if this thing up on top also had another option, like where you can take off your vest and stuff, where my mouse is on the top right here. And it'll be pretty cool if they're like make an option up here too. If you can like keep the light off up here, like the off light up here for realism reasons, it would just be a cool option. So yeah, you see the off lights are here and it's still here when it's off, but this light disappears. But I see the point is because they can just grab it, but it'll be cool to like to make an arm animation or something like that. So yeah, y you feel free to post these uh, photos the exact same photos onto the suggestions because I've been banned from their discord so yeah that's an idea another idea for bank is to extend the in layer area like the interior of the bank it would be pretty cool like a second floor here when those I've pointed out and it'll be cool if they like made interior of this in the future but yeah only in future terms not really a big thing uh, next vending machine instead of just robbing a vending machine why can't you buy from them well like the only purpose of them is to rob so this idea is one of my favorite ideas i've made because it's a pretty cool idea and yeah it'll be awesome if you can just buy from it too you know as a cop because it'll be so important for police and other players to use this so yeah like I said, feel free to use these ideas. This one is probably more of a one that they have to put a lot of work in if they use this specific glass mechanism or whatever. But, yeah, they will have to make a whole new system. But, yeah, it would be cool if you, like, shot a glass. It drops, like, a glass piece you can use, like, as a weapon. Which can also damage you a bit, maybe, because maybe you can slice a hand in the game. But, yeah. Broken can't hurt a player. But, yeah. I made like a broken glass pieces on, like on there so if you go through the window you'll get damaged a bit from it and then glass shards on the floor and that you can pick up as a weapon which is like a little concept but I doubt this would ever be added or even thought about but yeah it's just a pretty cool suggestion these three ones uh, these three ones are pretty cool so yeah this one's where you can just steal a Red Bull drink or a cookie from a shelf this is a pretty cool idea like in a, any servo store or a gas station so yeah that'll be pretty cool if you can just buy it from the shelf or steal it from the shelf and you get wanted so yeah that'll be pretty cool if they ever added that next idea second last the bank idea so I've tested if you can explode from behind and you can't which I know why because it'll be overpowered so, the best idea for this one, alright, is to put a camera behind it and uh, pretty much let the police know that they went to the back of the bank. If they blew up the back of the bank because the camera has caught it and stuff. So, yeah. But it would be cool to make like a balancing thing within this if they ever added it. But I doubt they'll ever add anything like this. But just a cool idea, just to blow up the bank from behind. But, yeah. Last idea is uh, the sniper in the holographic sight on the G36 3 gun, I think it's called, or whatever it's called. So you see that the, let me show you in the game, alright? You see how the crosshair is just not with the iron sight, alright? It's just not with it. Like, what the heck, man? Like, I want to be able to use the iron sight. Like, you kind of can, but, you know, barely. It's a bit goofy, so it'll be pretty cool if you could use the holographic sight with the aiming sight. It'll be pretty cool, but yeah. I don't know how hard it for them would be for the system that they have it did in, but yeah. It'll be pretty cool if they do. 
So I think that they've tried their best, but yeah. I have another idea somewhere. Let me show you in a second. Now this last idea is also the same thing to do with the same kind of guns. The pistol, you're holding it by its grip. That looks realistic. That's fine. Alright, that seems fine. I wish you could, the iron sights uh, go with the aiming sight with any gun too, but yeah. I don't know how hard that would be for them. But yeah. Anyway, this holographic sight, uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool to add that. But let me get to the main point and to the last suggestion. This last suggestion is about where he's holding the gun. Why is he holding it by the magazine? Let me show you the example that I made a while back. So the grip is literally right here where I drew. And the magazine is approximately where I've drawn this, as you've seen. And you can see the grip is literally hanging out of my shoulder here. Like, not shoulder, but like my arm joint here. Like, the grip of the gun is not on my hand, probably because it's hard for him to somehow make the gun not look goofy without putting it there. But it would be pretty cool if they make the gun look more realistic by holding it by the grip and stuff. Because if you do this, you can see the stock of the gun is hanging off your shoulder. Which, in real life, the gun is meant to be, like, hanging on your shoulder, I guess. Like, meant to be, like, right up to your shoulder, the stock of the gun. You know what I mean. Like, let me show you. Sorry about me stuttering. I'm just, uh, I stutter a lot. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The stock of the gun should be at his shoulder like this. And the hand of his gun is obviously on the grip. Which is, is a Colt M8 or whatever it's called. I forgot. M I don't, I'm not an expert with guns, but yeah. What do you call it? Yeah, you get my point with this one. So yeah, he's holding it by the grip, and his uh, the stock of the gun is hovering over his shoulder, not like that military fold, like military photo I showed you. So yeah. So yeah. Sorry about all the stuttering, but yeah, those are just some of my ideas that you can post to Discord and stuff, in the photos and everything. So yeah. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, like, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.